We've been adapting to Yerevan. The streets, weather, people, ways of life. It feels natural to us most of the time, especially the humor and warmth. We're slowly planting ourselves here, as intentionally and thoughtfully as we can. We've been integrating with various professional networks and meeting some awesome people. We're developing routines, identifying our favorite cafes and foods, getting to know our neighborhood, its vendors and cab drivers. Of course, we've located some of the best coffee in town. I think Green Bean is the only place that has Chemex coffee. This is fantastic. I love espresso, but Chemex. I want to go and introduce you to the woman who actually made the best Chemex coffee. Can you tell us, can you tell us how you make this coffee? It's all her. With love. With love. She made it with love. That's awesome. Thank you. It's so good. I'm a, I'm a coffee. Oh my god, I love it. It's so good. Thank you so much. So in between our sessions, we have offers to go to American University of Armenia and we're doing a little talk, guest lecture I guess, uh, to the students. Super excited, we're going to do it on self-awareness and equanimity. Between running the workshops, preparing talks and presentations, and documenting our work, one of our biggest challenges has been getting enough rest. So at times like this, you just kind of laugh at yourself, right? <laughs> because uh, lack of sleep combined with just a lot of work every day and uh, we came to the wrong university. We were supposed to give a talk at Yerevan State University and uh, we appeared at American University of Armenia to look at our messages more carefully to know that we're in the wrong place. So we just laugh and, and uh, thankfully we're here early enough that we'll make it to the other one on time. It'll be good. It was so nice being in the classroom again. Wasn't it? Ah, oh my god. I just love it when you actually connect. Like you actually yeah. connect and you feed off that energy. Especially in the end when people came. And yeah, they wouldn't let us go. It just feels so good to have that kind of human connection. That energy. Like this is what it's about for me. This is really what it's about. We did it. We did it. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go work now. We are members of Impact of Yerevan, which has brought together dozens of organizations that not only share a beautiful workspace, but can share knowledge and build together. We keep talking about the need for a massive country-wide campaign that would show Armenian citizens the tremendous work being done by NGOs, social entrepreneurs, and businesses that value social responsibility. There's sometimes a sense here that the country is stagnating or even worsening economically and socially. And yes, things aren't peachy, but that's really not the entire picture. There are intelligent and innovative individuals who are challenging society's limited perceptions of what's possible and shaping the very ways we create change. At our presentation there, we learned that some individuals are working 12 plus hour days and we know from our own experience that creating something from nothing requires enormous amounts of mental output. It's hard work, and we are also having a difficult time practicing self-care when there are many daily demands. Most of the change makers we meet do not practice self-care. A breathing exercise, even for just a few minutes, always shifts the energy of the room. Several cycles of deep breathing can be really nourishing. Finally going to yoga guys. It's been one month and we haven't practiced. 
and we are finally on our way. It's Hospital's been exactly a little tired. one month that we're here. Yoga. I'm so happy. It's my first yoga class in Armenia. Uh -huh. uh, and I can't wait. I really need it. She needs it. Yeah. Look at her. I hope it's good. And uh, <laughs> I've been teaching and I need a new teacher's perspective. So really excited to do that. See you after the class. See ya. The theme of our workshops this week was rootedness. We reflected on what roots us, what we stand for in life, and what keeps us going when work becomes very tough. Just like in our walking meditation with our participants, we're planting our feet intentionally, but gently, practicing mindfulness and patience. In the process, we're maintaining honesty with ourselves and one another, having open discussions, and laughing and having a good time.